Hi, I'm Glenn Dewis. Welcome to episode 69. Now I'm back with a new episode now that we've got Christmas out of the way and we're cracking on with the new year. So I thought I'd just dive in with this really, really quick technique for you. It's one that I've shown many times when I've done seminars and workshops, but never actually recorded a video for it. So this is a technique that shows you how you can retouch somebody's teeth. So it's a portrait retouching technique, how you can get the yellow out of the teeth and make them look a bit more white and more presentable. Now it's a very, very quick technique, so don't blink or you'll miss it. Okay, so this is the picture we're going to use for this technique. This is a picture here from a workshop. It's of my best buddy, Dave Clayton. But before we crack on, just a disclaimer. These aren't his real teeth, okay? Dave's one of those guys that's got loads of little um, party tricks that he carries around with him, and some of them are false teeth. So these aren't his real teeth. They're not really this yellow, but they're great for the demonstration. Okay, so how do we do it then? How do we make teeth uh, look uh, brighter and whiter and cleaner? Well, when I first started using photos, Photoshop, there used to be techniques out there in magazines that showed you how to first of all select the teeth using, using things like the pen tool or channels and that kind of stuff. But that was really long-winded. I like things to be nice and quick, nice and punchy, so that I can then get on and do the interesting stuff. So here now is how I very quickly make the teeth less yellow and more white and clean and kind of presentable, if you like. All right, so all we're gonna do then, we get the lasso tool from the toolbar. We make a very rough selection just around that part of the mouth there, just kind of encompassing the teeth. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm telling Photoshop, ignore everything else outside of that selection, only look at the teeth. Once I've got that selection, I'm gonna to go to a hue and saturation adjustment layer. I'm then gonna change it from masters to yellows, because that's what really the teeth have got lots in, lots of yellows. Then I'm just gonna take the lightness slider and drag it on over to the right-hand side just to brighten them up. And you can see then, when we zoom in, how that actually removes that yellow and makes the teeth nice and white and kind of movie star-like. Obviously, we don't wanna go too far over to the right, because that's a little bit too much, but you can kind of use this slider here to dial it in how you think the teeth look a little bit better. Obviously, you can, best way to see this really is to zoom out rather than have them really close in. And then you can get a more kind of accurate kind of uh, look that you want when you move the lightness slider. And that is all there is to it. Obviously, one little thing you can do, but I didn't tell you this, was that if you found that the model in your photograph was just a little bit of a pain, a bit of a diva, don't forget, you don't have to go to the right with the lightness slider. You can always go to the left and just say, I'm sorry, but that's kind of out of camera. And yes, I'm a retoucher. I could maybe do something for you. But I didn't tell you that. Really, really quick technique. Lasso tool, hue and saturation. Job done. I'll see you next time.